All right. Are you spirits ready to die? Just. Oh boy, this feels sad fighting you. Don't worry about it. Kill him. <laughs> We're finally at the point where we actually see the end. I can actually see it right in front of me. We're finally here. We're finally close. <laughs> We're so close to the end of it all. And I want to see it end in glorious fashion. Oh, great. So I want to avenge after being embarrassed by Captain Falcon last time. Fine. That's really what you want. I'll let you have it. Ready? All we got left Go. are the strongest spirits left imaginable. I want you to make sure that you win this fight properly, damn it. Being giant in metal is definitely a great way to start. I forgot some long range grabs like that can actually be useful for freaking recovering. Oh, baby, yes! I just want you to die. Ha ha! Well, I'm gonna strengthen! So this is why Metal Killer is very helpful. Huh. I don't remember. I don't remember Klaus having a metal form. Ow! Really, bro? Somehow I doubt strength the weapon means literally what I have on me. Just a hunch I have. Now get in the box! Time you to die in the coffin! Well, thankfully his percentage of damage was high, so it was easy to kill. Nice, Klaus! Oh, wow. Pretty good gray spirit. Oh, yeah, and you're maxed out. I forgot I raised you up to 98. Well, good for you. Friggin' mum car. In your freaking metal giant form. Wow, I forget the Makana's name. I forget. Metal face. God damn it. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, World of Light. This is your host, the MJ-406. And we are inching our way to the end of everything. Battling some of our most powerful spirits remaining, such as Wedding Bowser. They had an amiibo that, right? They had three amiibo for Mario Odyssey, I remember. Basically, all the wedding outfits for them. Ready? I'll say, Bowser always manages to look good. Like, man... Say what you will about Bowser's plans or him, his, you know, his efficiency as a villain. But yo, he always manages to look good. Like, whether it's his regular look, whether it's just, oh yeah, you have an ally Peach who's basically just wandering around is actually willing to fight back if Bowser gets near her. At least this one you have an ally. Although Bowser is very strong. They treat it like the battle against the moon, so it's... Jumping and power are pretty spectacular. I kind of hate it. Yeah, he has always been one of the best designed, like, gaming characters. There's something about him. I just... There is something really great about Bowser's design. Ever since they evolved it from freaking... You know... I guess from Mario World onward, they really, like, figured out the design. Wow, really? That's the last one of these? Jeez. Well, fine. I guess we'll have to deal with this the hard way. Which is probably going to be painful. But yeah, Bowser's design's always been great. There's something... Like, he manages to be intimidating, but not, like, super scary. It's somehow, like... You can tell he's evil without it being, like... Super, like... Threatening look. Like, it's not, like, obvious such as... I was going to say. Okay, yeah, that's the end of it. Wow. So much for that. <laughs> You're wasting my time, Jimmy Robo! I just love his design. It's just something about it just screams cool. Like an animal like a turtle just spiked up and just... I don't know, he looks goofy, but at the same time, you can see him being threatening. The, the breathing fire and all that is the only evil thing you can do. It's... I mean, something very fun about his design I've always loved. Ah, oh, one off wet resist. You know what? It's probably useless at this point. Landing leg. Give that to me. Thank you. I forgot. Weapon resist might be useless at this point. Which is fine by me. Alright, well, enough about that. It's finally time. Let's delve into this and see what's going to happen. What are they doing? Whoa, what the? Welcome to the Shadow Realm. What's happening? 
Where is he going? Master Hand, what are you doing? Oh, if I remember, this is cool as fuck. If I remember this, like I think I do. Ready? Yes! Go. Yes! Here's one of the best stages of the entire fucking game! That's right! Now you have a stage to battle a bunch of the subspace versions of these characters! Basically being the fucking master hand! Oh, it's right! You know, you know those attacks too! Side B is this! Regular B is the finger gun! He basically hold it to charge! Down B is the lasers! Oh, baby! Up B is a spike ball. Up A is this. Regular A is a snap that can stun them. Yeah, up A is the tornado thing. Oh. Down A is the slap. Oh, dude. Yes. Finally, in a non glitch method, you get to be the fucking master hand. Side, side A is this. Like, oh, dude. Like, yo, the first time I saw this, I was, like, so happy. He basically to be the fucking Master Hand finally after all this time. Like, dude, this is just beautiful. The power trip this is amazing. Like, I'm so glad they realized that being a Master Hand was something that could finally be done legitimately. For those of you who don't know, this was there was actually a glitch. Fast Rose Melee, if you did like the character select right with like player three. Forget what it was. Basically, you had to like try to, as player three, like try to cancel out of the, uh, of like the battle select in Brawl, in a uh, Melee. And you, d and you timed it like just go forward just as only B was working. Then player three would be all selected as Master Hand. And you couldn't kill him, but. You basically control Master Hand and do all the moves according to whatever the button inputs were for that game. Which I forget where they were, unfortunately, but... Yeah, dude. This is just fucking awesome. And yep, I get to fly around them however I please, too. Like, yes! I find to slap these guys and get revenge on all these fighters as the hand. Like, yo. That is, like, the most satisfying thing in this mode. Like, oh! I'm so happy they came up with this. This is just beautiful. It's beautiful! The terrain to rain down on them. Feel the power of Sakurai at my disposal. Defeat hit your HP, of course. Because, uh, yeah, if you die, probably do this again. Not I've ever died doing this, but... You know... It's worth paying attention to everything. Bitch, get the fuck out of here! Sorry, Samus. I want you gone. Yep. You can't talk to the Master Hand, by the way. Still. Yeah, awesome. You can use the hands to fight all the freaking spirits. There you go. Problem solved. And it's like that. Oh, shit! You've ruined our world! You've conquered both light and darkness. Yep. We defeated them both. Yep, you want to be balanced when you do this, because if you don't... Well, I'll say a middle path opens up if you do this right. So, you know, do it right. Oh, what? You're crouching on me? You're crouching on me? No, you're crouching on me? You're crouching on me? Oh, dear. Ah! <laughs> okay, you little bitch. Wow, I can't believe he's a fan. Whoa. That's a little mean. Just wrap it for you first. <laughs> so, yep. Now the end game has opened up. This might be the finale. I don't know yet. Depends how long this takes. So now is your time to battle the gods again. What you can't notice is that middle path they both converge on you. Interesting to wonder about there. Well, we'll wonder about that later. Oh, of course, would be fucking Minecraft. For now, we also fight the gods again on their own home turf. I'll say this, this isn't what you want to do. Well, it's nice to battle you guys again, now I'm more powerful. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. So, we fly battle the gods once again. 
act right. You do the you just have the crosses that are normal, not diagonal. Ah, uh, damn it! And Steam is very good for friggin' multiplayer for fighting, but not for friggin' this kind of mode. I had a feeling this is gonna happen. I hate that it is. Oh god, Roy! Right. Jeez, it's been so long since I battled you. It's been like 20 weeks since I last battled you, man. I don't remember shit about how you fight. Wow! Really not a fan of your antics. See? See, I'm having a lot of trouble trying to get to him because I can't even fucking reach him! Again, I knew this wasn't going to be a finale because I can't even fight him with this. Like, man, his attacks are fucking awful. Oh, right. I forgot. I should be spending my time trying to get the materials I need. There we go. Now at least I have weapons I can do with some real damage. It's like I forgot how he fights. It's crazy, friggin' Steve. He had to, like, rework, like, all the stages in the game. Just make them work because of his, uh, his gimmick, the blocks. They had to, like, restructure every stage in the game in such a way that it would work with Steve without being a real issue. It's crazy how much they had to rework the game just to work with him. And now the game needs to rework to balance him. And they're probably never going to do it. Because of his whole stage crafting shit, he's already so broken. The damage has been done. It can't be fixed now. Right, I keep forgetting this weapon's doing durability. And then again, that's probably how it works in Minecraft. Hey, don't ask me. I don't know. I don't fucking play Minecraft, man. Don't expect me to know shit. I know more enough to know exactly how Minecraft works, and to know I don't really care that much for it. You're thinking the entire thing would make it feel indestructible, but again, I don't know enough. Oh yeah, they have new attacks now, too! I forgot these fights do come with new attacks now, so... Yeah, you're basically fighting a stronger version of them now, so... Be prepared! They're never gonna try harder. And again, what the fuck? Yeah, because they can't do the thing of some of their fighters anymore. Now they have actually brand new attacks we didn't mess with. They're definitely harder than their first time fights. Oh! Like I said, this is not going to be the finale for certain. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, at least these fights are worthwhile again. At least they upgraded the fight to being quite the deadly battle. I mean, hey... You know, the first battles were easy, which I didn't bid to deal with Galeem somewhat decently the first time. I'm not getting anything good out of this, man. I gotta remember to pay attention to the attacks and try to fight off accordingly. To not let myself get beaten mercilessly. Do not be inside them! That's how you die! Oh, perfect place to attack from the inside. Okay, yeah, say that until you get brutally murdered. There we go, Diamond! Perfect! Woo! Wow, I can't... I was gonna say, I can't believe I dodged that. Then I ate my own words. Typical. How is it that a character who just does nothing but fight and survive against those freaking zombie things? The creepers. Managed to actually fight against the god. Ender Dragon's, like, not even that freaking powerful, man. Well, I guess relatively to its world it is. Like, the biggest character is this strong. It's because he can think of crap whatever the hell he wants. I guess in a way it is one of the most powerful things you can do. Basically have the ability to create whatever the fuck I want, as long as I have the materials to do so. There is something oddly powerful about that, to be fair, so. Oh, man. Man, so much of that weapon being useful. I guess it's kind of luck getting the material you want to actually use one of your best weapons. Oh, uh, I guess all your weapons get whatever upgrade that material is, but as you use them, they wear out. And man, it would be kind of unfair if even the diamond was unbreakable. 
If that was unbreakable, that would be brutal. Yes, there we go. On to the next phase. Phase will get some materials grinded up while I wait for this to roll through. Oh, yeah, geez. Just being in that freaking ruins me. Oh, my God. Even that has different patterns to worry about. I mean... I can figure it's something, but still... Oh, God! I don't like whatever that is. That does not seem cool at all. That is... One heck of an attack. Ow! Ow! Jesus Christ! Ah wow, the auras! They are powerful indeed! Shit! Oh, I can't wait to lose again so I can be somebody else. <laughs> yeah! I will say, it's definitely in a way one of those broken powers you can have. The ability to make anything you can think of as long as you have the materials to do it. It honestly makes you sound normal. But I guess, you know, if you have the superpower to be able to do it without any real limits, that in its own way can be kind of terrifying. Which, yeah. That went off some of the stuff after, sure. So, yeah. The ability to craft whatever you want is a terrifying thing. Because nobody knows is how far you can actually go with it. That's the true danger of it all. It also depends how far you're willing to go with your creations. How far are you willing to go to really show people you need business? See, the next match this game will have Stardew Valley character. You know, I joke about that. And how big farm sims have gotten, I wouldn't be that, that surprised. If somehow the Stardew Valley's character became a fucking fighter. Somehow. That would be some shit. That would be some shit indeed. I mean, well, we have had worse things happen. As we have friggin' Steve and Alex for, and Zombie, and Enderman. Man, I, I, just, I just hate some of the memeiness of it, man. Like, I wouldn't hate it so much, but it seemed like so many of the friggin' skins felt like memes. Like, Enderman, really? I don't know. I probably let it bug me too much. But to be fair, it is something that bugs me. Oh, you have a weapon break, you do get a standard weapon, you have no materials to use. I guess it is good to know. Again, I don't fight with Steve often. You can't tell. So, yeah. Damn it! See, here's why I hate being Steve. I feel like I have to do too much time freaking managing my materials. Instead of actually being able to fight the fucking thing. I feel like I want to fight, but at the same time, I can't really do that because I'm trying to freaking get materials so I can fight better. Oh, all right. I gotta pay attention to the snakes' newer attacks. So they caught off guard. Or just overall better burns. Oh, okay. Okay, they stick on the screen a little bit longer now. Eat the explosion! Wow, actually not that bad of an attack. To be fair. Compared to your aura things like that, those were nothing. There we go. Whatever it takes, I must do everything I can to put an end to you. I don't want to keep doing this fight if I don't have to. I'd rather put an end to you now. Yeet! Right, timing dodges. The thing I learned from fighting Taboo, timing your dodges is essential for surviving some of these battles. Oh god, no. Hey, hey! Minecraft, my way to saving the world is using my own ingenuity. I'll do it. Oh, shit! Let me save this world through my crafting ability! Through all my time tooling around wasn't for nothing! Oh, you can't summon fire. You just have not been doing it up to this point. Oh, man. I do not like how this is ending. Yeah! No! I actually felt like I stood a chance. Damn it! And here I had confidence I could do it. I should have known better. But yeah, at the very least, 
These fights are certainly harder than the ones before them. Alright, at least this feels like I actually have confidence I can get this done. So, did Giant Kill- oh, maybe it's just from stats. I was saying, is Giant Killer actually useful in this thing? That'd be really funny if I realized Giant Killer is actually useful on bosses. <laughs> oh, the irony that would be, the spirits being used so much against them. And a battle against a god is supposed to be one hell of an endeavor. So, you know. I guess I should expect it, but even still. God damn. Oh, this already feels so much better. The multiplayer. Oh! Did I just get rid of that bomb? Maybe I did. Can I hit them away? That would make a lot more sense, actually, if I could. I gotta remember to stay away from the attacks. That's always my biggest problem in these fights. I keep forgetting to stay away from the actual attacks themselves. It's that folks too much on attacking. Me and my offensive mindset. Never worked out well for me. It continues to not work out well for me because I always get myself caught in something stupid. Oh man, shielding away all that stuff is really good too. Look! As long as I don't do anything stupid to get myself caught up in something worse, I'm fine. Man, what do you guys think about that idea of uh, being able to craft anything that your heart desires as long as you have the material to do so, being the most deadly thing that the most deadly power somebody could have? It's basically having the power to just do anything, as long as you pay attention to your inventory and such and, like, know everything. I guess you have the knowledge to do it, too, to be fair. Which, considering how many tools there are, that would be one incredible amount of knowledge you'd have to carry with you if you really wanted to make the most out of the craft anything ability. Oh, jeez. I mean, hey. If I could easily have that knowledge, I would definitely want that ability for certain. There's like so overpowering about that thought. Oh, God. That I would love to craft anything if it meant I could actually do whatever I wanted. Like, seriously. Who would want that power if they knew they could use whatever they wanted to do, what, make whatever they wanted? He even thinks it didn't seem like they could really be possible. Ow! God, that attack is the worst! That is the taboo attack of hell. Ugh. You may remember that attack of taboo in Subspace Emissary, where it basically gets in the background and just decides to unleash energy waves at you to basically try to kill you. The attack was basically a miniature version of, uh, what it did at the beginning of some space adversary to kill you all to begin with and send you all as trophies. That attack of this thing is definitely the worst. And that attack was always horrible in some space in that battle taboo in some space adversary. That was basically the game ender. You got caught in that, you were pretty much losing your character automatically. You had to do three well timed dodges to avoid it. That's basically his attack on steroids, man. So, yeah. Worth trying to avoid if you can help it. But again, that's if you can help it. Which I don't know if I can, to be fair. So, I'll try not to help it if I can. I don't want to give him the advantage anymore. Alright, good. Ah, I ran right into it! It's like I also forget my shield is, in fact, an option. Because I just never think about the shield. Ever. <laughs> I only think that dodges are useful to me. And I wish I could... I also wish I could charge my fucking sword strikes and keep them with me. I guess that would be pretty unfair, wouldn't it? If I charge my sword strikes and save them for another time. In the fight. Damn it. I timed that poorly. Oh, God. Shit. Ah, no! And it'll ever recover. Fuck, man. Ugh, he was ready to do his big deadly attack, too. Son of a bitch! I didn't think I'd be struggling this much on you. Fuck! Alright, well, you know the deal. If I lose again, I'm gonna be a different character, and I'm gonna keep going until I win and show you guys the victorious fight. And we're gonna go take out Darkon. 
That'll be much less lean on that because we saw that fight much more recently. So, yeah, once we get to Dark, I'll allow one fighter to go through three attempts. And then if I fail all those, I'll do another fight. Another fighter that is time warp to the end of that one. I'll tell you this and go faster. It's like I forgot how hard these battles can be, though. Wow, thanks, Shield, for not doing anything. Thanks so much for that. And yeah, this would honestly be very helpful if I get a character I'm really good with. But nope. No such luck. The only characters I get are those I'm okay with. Or characters I don't know how to use at all. That's usually my luck. The only characters I just totally suck with. That would be my luck. I just have to deal with ultimate pain. And not having somebody that I ideally work with. Ow! I just don't want you freaking trying your way on me, asshole! Can you leave me alone already? Dang it. Oh, jeez! Now the waves shift? Hey, hey, at least nice to Al. No, there are a lot of different patterns I can form for this fucking thing. And yeah. Oh, shit. And I'm dead again. Yep, dead again. God damn it! <laughs> Those light waves are terrible. I need a fighter I know I can actually work with. So please let this third one actually be useful or else I'm going to be here for a long time dying repeatedly to both these fuckers. Thank you! Finally, somebody useful! Yes. And now I can really kick your ass. Ha 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 ha! Oh, now I've got Samus with her friggin' light suit variant that I can heal from shielding? Oh, you're done, believe. This light god's about to be extinct. I don't know if I can probably purchase light, but fuck it. I'm gonna do what I can. It deserves it. I mean, I think I know what's best. And hey, if I'm being frank, if I had to pick light or darkness, one or the other, if I had to pick one to keep, I go with darkness every time. <laughs> I mean, come on. Why is an asshole? We all know this. Why is a fucking asshole? And so it should not be underestimated. How much an asshole like could really be. I mean, look at it. It thinks it's no better. It knows better than me. It thinks it. It believes that peace can lead to actual resolution in this world. We can live through a world without fighting. Yeah. Look at what that has brought. There's nothing but fights happening now. You thought world peace would solve everything. Well, did you know you're the reason that there's war to begin with, asshole? Fuck, you didn't know to make this world a worse place. Thanks for nothing, White, you son of a bitch. Fuck you, Maverick. Why do I feel like we're not talking about the same light anymore? Don't worry. You, you, all the lights are assholes, man. Sunlight, incandescent lights, LED lights. All of them suck, man. You just can't trust any light at all. None at all. <laughs> They're all evil. All of them. That's why Dark is our old friend. He was trying to warn us about that. And we never listen. We assume light is all we ever need to survive. But no! Nobody listens to darkness because, oh, it seems evil. Yeah, but light is evil too. How do you trust light at all? Look at it. Look at it. It does nothing but evil things. Like this, for example. It tries to do this. And you can barely avoid it unless you get informed by darkness ahead of time. You can survive it. What kind of a man is light? An evil one. An evil piece of shit, that one. But, well, that's what fate has in store. So, unfortunately, we all deal with the light whether we want to or not. So, I'll deal with it my way. By purging it from this world. I mean, I think I know it's better for us. So I'll purge the light. I know it's better for everybody. That's why I'm the one who gets to decide our fate. See, everybody, you can leave it all in my hands. My capable hands. I know exactly what I'm doing. Mine is all going to backfire on me. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> not, not running away a little bit. Just to make sure I can survive this shit. 
Oh, come on. Oh, God! And I almost died stupidly. One thing for a savior to do. Die in the last hurdle. <laughs> I mean, that would be exactly what I would do. If I was a saber, I would die in the last possible hurdle. Just to dash everybody's hopes, just like that. Freaking hate this man they call White. I don't even know White's a man. Look, he is telling these things after a while, right? And believe it or not, Darkon's a woman. Don't ask my sources. You just you just know these things after a while. Oh damn, I dodged three at once. Wow, I dodged that attack every time so far. I mean, yeah, I guess your best way of dealing that is try to basically move however you can to basically dodge numerous instances of that at once. That's all you can really do to make the most out of that attack. Being survivable. Jesus Christ! I mean, I do I can't survive this thing, White, right? If White wants to make this world living hell for me, then fine. But I'm not about to let it make a fool out of me. Not again. I've had enough of your bullshit, White! This ends here and now! If you thought I'm gonna take this shit for much longer, you're fucking wrong! I'm ending this so we can all live in peace, once and for all! You're the whole reason that violence is brought into this world, and now, I'm about to take it all back. Yeah, baby! The white suit finally comes through! After dying a few times, don't worry about it. <laughs> but I won! Gleam is destroyed! And I'll say that! The world's saved! Oh, look at one skills for all that! What a ripoff! Really got shit for it! Well, that's good. Oh, you use the spirits of rare Smash Battles, of course. So the glaive destroyed! The light is vanquished. We've got rid of our original oppressor. And just like that, everything is absorbed by the darkness. Take that light, we never see you again. Got it. What? Oh my god, I got all the master hands killed. Oh shit. What have you done? You monsters! Ah! Oh damn! Oh shit! Damn! That's a torturous death you deserve! See? I think we fucked up, guys! Now we're involved in darkness! No! I can't see anything! Help! And just like that, the world is involved in darkness. You fucked up! You killed the wrong one! Yes, the world is mine. <laughs> Oh, I love it here. What player should I go after next? <laughs> well, so much for that. <laughs> here we go! Clear the Metro Road! Yay! We did it, guys! God, we fucked up here. Yes, we cleared the Metro for the first time! Good job, morons. You cleared it wrong! Now let's do it the right way, okay? Let's do it the right way this time. Oh, God. Who would have thought Birds of the Light would have swallowed us in darkness? I should have known better. Well, in that case, I guess that means I should probably clear out the darkness instead. Maybe that would do us better. Fine, Darkon, I'll deal with you instead. If that's the way this has to be, I guess we'll do it your way. The proper way, where you must die. Because apparently we need light to survive. Sorry, I forgot about that, everybody. Excuse me! I realized that light was so important for all of you. Well, whatever, if that's what you need, that's what I'll do. I'll do it for all of you. Whatever. Blech. Fine, we'll take on Darkon again. You can't be much worse than last time, right? At least my speed is enhanced for this. And you're coming to threaten us again. That's wonderful. Well, fine. You can't be much worse than what you were last time, right? Now I'm fast care. Did I try to use Fox to fight you before I failed? I feel like I did, but I don't actually remember. Then again, I don't remember what you anything from what I've done recently because all these battles have phased together. I've just. Afraid of all of the all these gods now, all their 
vicious fights they have. Ow! Yeah, it's got to remember to read the attacks, too. But it's something I keep forgetting to do. Instead, I just choose to blindly fight and hope that every single time I fight back, I can do di good damage. It's like I forgot a proper fight requires you to have good defense as well. But, well, they say the best defense is good offense. They also say vice versa, dog. You're not wrong. But I prefer the offensive method myself. So, uh, you do the same thing. Similar to the light waves, you have the dark waves. I mean, I should have seen this coming, but even still, I guess it's just something you have to do. Oh, that looks like a new attack. Oh, God! I don't like the darkness pillars either. Oh, shit! I'd rather deal with that than the freaking... The energy waves of the light that the other one did, that Galeem was doing. Ah, oh, shit. I was gonna pay attention... Oh, right! I forgot the big energy ball follows up at the end. Right. Oh, God! Okay. So there's that now, too. Use your tentacles to try to stab me. Mm, I think I'd rather get hit with that than the flame pillars, though. At least the flame pillars are easy to avoid. Well, as I pay attention to where Darkon is. Now, there's so much where Darkon moves as it does the attack. Or where it, uh... Or where I am. One or the other. You can't be too close to the bombs either, idiot. I don't know why you thought you would have been safe that way. That doesn't help anybody. All it does is put your life in grave danger. Thinking you can survive that shit is crazy, man. Crazy. I mean, yeah. I guess I should warm up to the light. Just tell it, tell it that darkness and light are both needed to balance things. I guess blinding light is better than having darkness you can't see anything. At least light you can see things. No, you can't. Not if it's blinding. Fuck! I thought I was going to do the other diagonal. It tricked me. Son of a bitch. I should have known better. And yet, I get tricked every freaking time. Well, these gods trick me into thinking they want to say they know what's best for me, and I believe them every time, too. No! Oh, God. Oh, I ran right into the both. I'm not going to read the angles of the Darkon bombs. Yeet! And you deserve to die now. Thanks, asshole. There's no way I'm going to survive this battle. No way in hell! You think I can stand a chance of surviving this shit now? Because I don't. Oh, man. Seriously. Darkon, she is such a bitch. For real. Why does Darkness have to be such a bitch? Why? It's like the signs were there. That darkness was evil this whole time. Everybody always thinks darkness is evil. Just because it's dark. Just because you can't see it. Ooh, it must be evil because it can seal itself well. But people don't seem to realize that light can seal things too. Because they can blind things so well. Oh god, there's no way I'm surviving. The slowdown definitely got me there. <laughs> I'm not even angry about that one. I knew as soon as that attack started, I was going to die. Yeah. Darkon's attacks are definitely easier to dodge, but they're more heavy hitters. In a way, I feel like Darkon's easier than Galeem. Now I can see the true might of Galeem. I guess I got lucky the first time around, we fit trainer. Or whatever. Oh, I'm always in the way! Damn it! You're better off being in the direct vertical paths of. Son of a bitch! Oh! God damn it. I better off being in the direct vertical horizontal paths of those bombs. Those cross bombs it has. Oh, God. I didn't know I could actually shield that. I guess only certain attacks I can't shield against. I mean, I guess I should have known better that I could shield, shield against it, but still. Yes, blast of the light, the blaster. That'll work. It's so strong at Blaster. It's the chip shot damage will definitely add up. I'm sure of it. How can it not? The Blaster is one of the ultimate weapons that Fox loves to use. 
Have you guys played Star Box of Souls, Star Box Adventures? Oh god! Blaster is his weapon of choice in Star Fox Assault. Star Fox Adventure, he wanted this Blaster to start. How could it not be his weapon of choice? Oh, man. I hate Battle of Light and Darkness. Seriously. Why do I have to make a choice here? Well, at least it's easy to dodge all that. See, that attack is simple to dodge once you get the dodge game started. Oh, God. Oh, God, I knew I should have moved. Somehow I'm still alive. Not for long, though. Yeah, I think that's about to come to an end. We'll see how far I can take this run, though. Well, oh, it's on your pillars. No, not the enemies. That's what I wanted the least. Yeek! Okay, they killed me. You know what? That's pretty fitting. That's pretty fitting way to go out on that. All right. Time warp into a possible victory. So what fighter are we going to have to do this with? That's what I really wonder. What fighter is going to lead me to victory against Darkon here? Ha-ha! Perfect! Oh, do I have a stronger spirit I can use? Is that Gino one really one of the strongest I have? I mean, fine. Another additional bit of jump? Can I get something different? No, that works. Air attack and auto heal. That would work out well. At least I'm getting a good, good fighter. See, guys, I was warning you. The darkness was an enemy. Don't even believe me. Don't you worry. I will take care of it for you, like I always do. Like everything. God damn it, Mario. Fine, just do it. As long as you take care of the darkness properly, I don't really care how you do it. Just get it done. Damn straight. If I learned how useful I am in battle. I mean, sadly, there's something I would expect to actually protect the world for his own self-interest, so it would be you. Because that's just the kind of selfish person you are. Hey! How do you deserve that? A lot of things. That's why I can't fully trust you. Wow! So much for being a galactic savior, and everybody still has to come after me for it. Just kill Darkness. We need to fight Darkness' manager and kill it. That's what we're doing? This is Darkness' manager? Satan? You really think that's Darkness' manager? I feel sorry for you. What? It's the ultimate being of Darkness. Sure it's not Lucifer? Lucifer? Who the fuck is Lucifer? Ow! Christianity's the only religion that's right. God damn it, Mario. I remember now why I hate talking to you. That's why I didn't want you to save her, buddy. Man, the sun is light's manager. Who would be darkness's manager? A dark closet? That you hide yourself in? There can be a lot of darkness in a closet, to be fair, but... I could probably think of worse. Ah! Jesus Christ! That really got close there. I mean... A black hole! You know what? That thing's pretty fitting. The sun would be light's manager. A black hole would be darkness' manager. <laughs> I mean, it's fitting enough. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't relative to where I am, not to where it is. Gotcha. Now I know how that works. Finally. Oh, God! Yes! Kind of wish I had the auto-healing shield, but that's fine. I probably don't need it. As long as I pay attention to my attacks, I should be fine. Can't let him get anywhere. Do not stand anywhere where you know you can get hit by this thing. That's definitely something I've learned from these fights. Do not stand where they can easily hit you. Oh, man. Woo! Protect myself by staying. By clearing the bombs near me. Man, why did I clear the bombs? Definitely made... A heck of a lot of difference, to be honest. It helped me a lot. Woo! Yeah, the ledge clinging. Good. I'm glad I finally realized how to properly battle this fucking thing. As long as I stay smart about actually maneuvering myself through this shit. 
The timing of the dodges is essential. How did it take me so long to remember this shit? Because you suck at this. I was going to play Gold Kill it already. Ow! Fuck you! Even if slow down, I can finish you off. Haha! <laughs> Sorry! You're a bit too slow! You're too slow! You're the wrong mascot to be saying that, Mario, but thank you for killing the darkness. No problem! I knew what needed to be done! You can always count on me! Oh, I don't think I can. But thank you for purging the darkness! And just like that, Darkon is defeated! And there we go! Now that both of them are defeated, we should be good, right? Did you forget that Galeeb is still there? Because we technically only killed Galeeb and then reset? Oh, wait, what? How could you do this to me? I was promising you everything! No! No, my retinas! I hate light! Ah! It pierces my eyes! Ah! Yeah, just bunch of straight up beams of energy killing all your crazy heads. No! I'm not ready for LASIK! No! Please! Not the LASIK surgery! Oh wait, this is this is high intensity LASIK! Time for to correct all your eyes. Do nothing but suffering! Oh wait, no! I thought the light was good! What happened? Now it blinds everything. Oh shit, I can't see! Well, we fucked up. <laughs> Great job, Mario! I'm sorry! You're now second son. Good job, dumbass. Even overpowers the solar system. You know, it's somehow even worse than the darkness ending, to be honest. Shit. Yay! We beat Darkon! Smart. Smart move there. <laughs> oh, boy. If only you knew. I'm going to take as many attempts as Galeem. Thank fucking God. Then I gotta remember how to fight them now. All right, well, yep, that's what happens. You beat Galeem, Darkon wins. You beat Darkon, Galeem wins. So that only gives you one reasonable question left. What if we can kill both of them? If it wasn't obvious... This was the true answer. And next time, wow, we're a bitch. Yeah, it can't even take us on. Come on. We beat you on one. Think we can't handle it? Yep, the true answer was, of course, valley both of them at the same time. All right, what else would the answer be? It feels worthless to have gone for that, but you know what? Fuck it. I don't really need anything else. So at this point, I'll take it. Oh, right. I think you might have to replay the adventure mode to get all the skill spheres you need. I forgot they did do that. It kind of sucks. But, yep. I don't think I need to check the shops. It wasn't obvious! Next time is actually, finally, the finale! We're finally here after it's been a whole year! Come back next time for the finale of The World of Light, where we have our true answer! Killing Galeem let Darkon will win! Killing Darkon let Galeem win! So, the only reasonable option is to kill them both. And that leaves us with one hell of a spectacular finale to come up with. The ending of Light and Darkness. So what does that leave us with? Nothingness? The true answer. Why have either when you can have none? That's right. The ultimate balance is having neither of them to begin with. That just sounds another another bad idea. Yeah, they're both gods. Maybe kill them both will cancel each other out? Let's hope. 